I'm Paula Storm. Thanks for joining me today on my YouTube channel. All right, I'm back again with Heather Hopkins at the Handy Quilter Academy and she's going to show us now what, um, what she quilted on row one of the Slow and Steady Quilt Along. Thanks Heather for taking Thanks, the time out. <laughs> We're missing lunchtime today so um, hopefully these videos come out great and you'll be able to see exactly what we did. All right, so Heather, today we're going to talk about row one, which is the uh, cathedral windows row. Yes. And I just wanted to, um, you quilted in a completely different way to what I thought you would. And yes. this is why I was so happy to have you quilt it, because I wouldn't have thought of hardly any of these designs. So tell me, how did you, what was your thought process? How did you come up with the ideas for the different rows? Okay. Now, Paula, you should know me well enough. I don't come <laughs> up with pre-planned ideas. I just wing it. Um, yeah. So the quilt that I quilted for you was done on my long arm machine. Um, but what I want to show is it doesn't necessarily have to be done on the long arm machine. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of domestic quilters that are doing this. So mm -hmm. uh, what we're going to look at is some uh, simple ideas for them to quilt on their quilt. Absolutely. Because that's what we wanted. We wanted yes. everybody to be able to do this. That's why um, I didn't really give instructions to join the whole quilt yet because I wanted some of you to be able to do it quilt as you go. So you could just quilt these rows. So put some batting behind it and some backing behind that. Only a little bit bigger than these um, these rows and then I'm going to give you instructions at the end of how to join it all together quilt as you go. So what did, how did you do this first row? Okay so this first row uh, I chose, uh, well on your quilt it was a grey thread mm -hmm. but I went along and I had ditch quilted up close to these cathedral yep. windows so I went across the whole row and ditch quilted those down and I'd also done it on this side. Okay well. so you went from one side across yes. first then went back to the other and the went back. Across. Mm -hmm. Yeah and that just made it secure so that then I could do what I wanted to do to them. Right. So what I did next was I actually put the swells in so the swells that I was just showing you mm -hmm. on the sample fabric so I'd, after I ditch quilted we had gone in and I would put swell designs in here so just following it into the shape okay and just fill those guys up with swell designs and that was about the size you did on the yes. actual quilt yeah so yep. some of them turned out a little bit smaller so there might have been some little ones in mm -hmm. there but I just swelled to fit the actual area itself right okay and I might cut in some pictures here so you can see exactly on the actual finished quilt so you can see what it looks like yep. okay what did you do next after okay. you finished those swells? so after I'd done the all the gray swells through the whole background I'd actually changed the color thread uh, okay. So on the background I had a thread ma that matched the background, it was mm -hmm. a nice grey, uh, it was actually a master quilter thread, it's really pretty. Mm -hmm. uh, on these ones I used a variegated rayon thread, so any of the colour sections on the quilt were done in a variegated rayon thread. That's right. So what I had done on these guys was I used my versatile ruler. Okay. Okay, so this is a handy quarter ruler, uh, so some domestic machines can do ruler work as well. Mm -hmm. So I chose this one because it actually gave me the right type of curve that I needed. All right, so okay. I would have had my needle down in the yep. corner. Okay, and there's that quarter inch distance. Yes. So can you just explain yes. that for us? So with our uh, ruler foots that we use, the when we have our ruler foot up against our ruler, it sits out a quarter of an inch from our actual ruler. Okay. So you need to be imagining that extra quarter of an inch out here when you lay the ruler down yes when you pop the okay. ruler down yep. so i would have had my needle down mm -hmm. in this corner and then i've got my ruler up against it and then i've stitched around my ruler to get these little curves in here okay so i've gone across and i've moved my ruler over to here making sure again that you have yes. that quarter inch here and here yeah yep and i've yep. gone around it oops sorry Yep. around him again there mm -hmm. and so on using my ruler so okay. these didn't need too much quilting in them because they were an, a feature already uh, mm -hmm. originally I didn't want to quilt these but they needed something to hold them down so after I 
put the whoopee out of the background. <laughs> they were really popping up and they yes. just needed to be secured down. Right. Um, so even if these had been stitched down, if you had stitched along this edge, they were mm -hmm. still really popping up in the middle. So they yes. just needed a little bit of stitching just to secure them. Okay. And yeah. also because there's quite a lot of bulk in here yes. because of the seams. Yes. So yeah, it's probably a good idea to not go through all of this. Yes. You might um, break a needle or two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much all we did on this row. Yep, that was a simple one. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for showing us the first row. We're going to come back and we'll do row two as well. And then, unfortunately, Heather's going to go back to South Australia and I'm going to go back to New South Wales. But we're going to do... Um, we're going to give you lots of information for the actual quilting side of the quilt. Um, so we'll actually have some videos of stitching. I'm going to do both on the, my domestic machine and my Sweet 16 and also my Simply 16. And Heather's going to jump in as well on the Facebook group and she's going to give us lots of suggestions, hints and tips of, of ways she's, she would do it on all of the different machines. So whether you've got a domestic or a long arm, um, you'll get lots of information on, on, this, uh, on these videos. So thanks for joining us. Thank you, Heather. Thanks, Paula. We'll see you soon.